Hey everybody, you got the Hobby Drifter here again. Uh, this is a recent pickup that I came across in this beautiful little used bookstore in Motosumiyoshi, just outside of Tokyo. It is the uh, souvenir um, art book that was sold at the uh, Akira Toriyama exhibition. And this exhibition was held in a couple of uh, different major museums in Japan uh, in 1994. Um, right at the, the the height of like Dragon Ball mania. Um, this is significant because this was kind of the, the second time that these, these major museums were celebrating uh, the work of a uh, manga artist. There was, uh, back in 1990 was the, the first time that uh, national museums hosted um, galleries uh, devoted entirely to a manga artist. You can probably guess who the manga artist in, in 1990 was, uh, but that will be the subject of a different video. Um, but that, that went really well. And a few years later, in 1994, we got the uh, Akira Toriyama uh, exhibition at several museums in Japan. This was well before my time. Uh, I didn't come to... Uh, didn't come to Japan for the first time until uh, 2006, I think it was, and this was the the book that you could get uh, as a uh, souvenir. Obviously, photography is generally prohibited at all of these events, so if you want to, you know, take the art with you, you, you buy the book. Like I say, I got this at this awesome little bookstore, independent bookstore called um, uh, Book Circus. It's only 510 yen. It's not in the best shape. Um, I I don't. I'm not you know a real stickler for things having to be in in great shape, as long as you know the, the content is okay. I I normally would not. Uh, if this were like a, a more common item, I probably would have held out for one in, in better shape. But I have not seen one of these for sale um, in just forever. I mean I, I I've seen them in. Uh, Mandarake, uh, at you know, premium type prices, but I mean yeah for five hundred and ten yen for this this thing, and 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 these can be had by the way. I mean you can get these on on Amazon for uh, reasonable prices, uh, but I mean just for my my own personal collection, uh, not a not a huge Dragon Ball or Akira Toriyama fan, but you know just for, for the price, you got uh, you got uh, uh, Anade from. Dr. Slump, I'm guessing that's not Nappa, but looks like Nappa. And of course, Goku up here on the front. So, get this this huge, huge, oh, what's, what's this? Like I said this is a, a recent pickup, I don't, I haven't, ah, there we go. Hey, that's nice. Um, like, I, if you've watched any of these uh, other videos that I've done, I mentioned that uh, a lot of times people will take their their ticket stubs or their uh, uh, other paperwork and just kind of slide it into the uh, in, into the book. And it looks like, uh, yeah, here's the uh, ticket stub for the Akira Toriyama exhibition. Um, it says here, this was in the um, Kawasaki Museum, uh, right outside of, of Tokyo. Uh, then it was on display there from uh, the 4th of December through the... Uh, 30th of January from 1993 and uh, 1994. So, hey, cool, bonus. Uh, I This isn't a setup. I honestly didn't know this was in here. So, yeah, that's nice. Yay me. Bonus for 510 yen. So, yeah, we, we go through here, and, uh, yeah, that's English and, and uh, Japanese. Very nice. Explaining like why this is a big deal, uh, multimedia development of Toriyama's world. I'm sure there's a few people here who might want to read all this, but it's uh, not the most exciting visually. Oh, anyway, here we go. We get into uh, Dragon Ball. Some of his uh, Dragon Ball artwork here. Uh, Goku looking very Captain Marvelous. There looks very much like the the character from Kaiser Sensei Gokaiger. Um, the little handwritten 
no, I mean, this it's not handwritten, but it's it's his handwriting. It's the uh, reproduction. Yeah, going through uh, Dragon Ball. Uh, Dragon Ball Z. Some very, very famous artwork uh, that has been reproduced in many, many places over the years. Along with some stuff that you, you don't see very often. I mean, it's this book is is very good size. It's uh, like the size of, uh, say, an album cover, or a, uh, like a laser disc case. Nice colors. the The stuff that is in color is very bright, very vivid. The uh, black and white stuff, the pencil stuff, also looks nice. It's kind of a, a glossy paper, which interesting. A lot of times you'll see the. Uh, the paper is more of a, a flat or a matte color uh, texture. Yeah. Akira Toriyama, artist in a sensuous medium. So there we go. Alale Norimaki from Dr. Slump. I have never seen Dr. Slump. Uh, I tried to read the manga a, a while back. Didn't really do anything for me. My wife is a, a, a big fan. Is more than 25 years old now. Uh, looks like Senbei Norimaki, so I'm guessing that's who this dude on the back was. Yeah. Got uh, Superman and Shopa Man, who I'm guessing uh, <laughs> don't get used very much for, for reasons. There we go. This is the uh, Cover illustration for a Toriyama exhibition catalog. Well, that's <laughs> that's fair enough. I said I just picked this up recently. Only had a quick chance to uh, flip through it, so we're kind of going through this together at the same time. And then, of course, the other thing that he's very well known for is uh, Dragon Quest. And video game versions of those stuff, and some some sketches, and merchandise. And a lot of a lot of merchandise for for Dragon Ball and Doctor Slump over the years. And oh, there's the man. And then yeah, there's the the bibliography of where all the the artwork came from. So yeah, that's the uh, Akira Toriyama exhibition. Um, booklet. It's it's very interesting. Definitely worth a look if you're into uh, Dragon Ball or Akira Toriyama. Um, not super comprehensive. I mean, it doesn't have. Uh, I didn't see almost anything uh, from uh, from the manga, you no know, reproductions of artwork or anything like that. But um, just as a celebration of of him as an artist. Very cool book. Again, you know, I got this for a reasonable price, only like five bucks. And yeah, it's uh, it's gonna sit on my shelf for forever now. Um, probably take it out when I wanna do a little reminiscing, a little stroll down memory lane, maybe help me with uh, uh, some Japanese translation stuff down the road. But it's a, it's a cool artwork, a uh, cool art book. Um, if I ever come across one that is um, in better shape, I might do an upgrade, but I am, I'm psyched that the, uh, uh, ticket is in there. I, I always like to, to see stuff like that. Um, but otherwise, I mean, it's, it's cool. I don't have a whole lot to say about this. I've, I've never been the, the, the biggest fan. Uh, as of course, you know, I went through the Dragon Ball phase, you know, back in, back in high school when it, you know, was, was getting big on, on Cartoon Network and what have you, but never a huge, huge, huge Dragon Ball fan. Um, I did, however, see the live-action movie. Uh, it, it opened in Japan, like, I think it was more than a month. Uh, in, it, it opened in Japan, I think, more than a month before it did uh, anywhere else. And, I mean, this 
This movie uh, never looked like it was going to be anything approaching watchable, but it was like, okay, well, I've, I've, I've been in Japan for a, a year or so when the movie came out, and I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to go to the, the theater, I think it was in Kita Kyushu, and I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see a Dragon Ball movie in Japan. That, that's going to be great. You know, ha ha ha. Um, I went uh, by myself because obviously I couldn't find anyone else to go with me. And uh, it was opening day. Um, there were five people in this theater. Only only five people. It was, it was in English with, with Japanese subtitles. And yeah, a total of five people. I, I counted. You know, I went and sat down. By the time the movie started, it was me, four other people. Uh, by the time the movie ended, it was just me. Uh, the other four four guys had walked out <laughs> during during the movie. Um, to, to give you some idea of how incredible that is, um, in for for most movies here, uh, people don't get up before the the credits roll. I mean, like nobody even gets up until the the final credit rolls and the the house lights come up. So that like four people paid you know eighteen hundred yen each. Uh, and just got, I, I don't know if they, you know, made it through, you know, most of it or half of it. Um, but yeah, by the time uh, I, I turned and looked around an uh, hour or so into the movie, they they were gone. <laughs> it, was, it was just me. Uh, the guy working the uh, ticket box or the, uh, the, the concession thing where you, you put your concessions, you know, your empty drinks or whatever. There's people who collect those for you. Um, he just kind of looked at me like, ooh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, no, that, that wasn't great. Um, but thankfully, Dragon Ball has made a, a resurgence uh, here in, in Japan over the last few years with uh, first Dragon Ball Kai and then Dragon Ball Super. Uh, I, I know I've got a, a bunch of uh, younger students who enjoy Dragon Ball. Uh, I did watch one of the uh, recent movies and thought it was very fun. But, uh, yeah, long, long live Dragon Ball. Cool book. Uh, thanks for spending uh, 12 minutes with me. Take care, and happy hobbying.